okay guys let's start with the trigger scenario okay so let me show you what is the today's trigger scenario okay so let's suppose earlier there were some other owner in this field and now i will going to change this to the new owner let's change this okay so the owner is now changed this is the new owner so whatever the new owner is there you have to update the same details in the description field okay that is the name of this owner and plus the email address of this owner you have to update in this description field so how we will going to do this let's write down a trigger on contact okay so let me close all other tabs I must be having already a trigger on context, so I will going to utilize the same and new method I will going to now create. Okay, so let me hide all other previous ones so it should not create any kind of confusion. This is done. So now first thing comes here is you should be clear what type of, uh, of uh, trigger event you will going to use, on which object you will going to create this trigger and then finally what context variable will going to help you out in this scenario okay so this is the scenario whenever you will going to update the owner of the contact object or the contact record then the new updated values of the owner should get added in this description field like the owner name and its email address so here operation you are performing is the update and where you have to update the same thing on the same object only that is on the context so trigger we will going to write on contact type we will going to use before here because on the same object we will going to do the changes and the operation we will going to use the update so the scenario or trigger event will be here before update so before update is added here already let's add the check if trigger dot is before and then trigger dot is update okay then we will going to utilize the same handler and i will going to create the new method this time update description with owner details okay now in the uh, update if you remember uh, in case of before update we will going to have all four context variable values okay trigger dot new new map old old map all con four context variable will going to have value if you want to show that yes this particular field is updated by the user then we will going to use trigger dot new that is the new values of this record plus we want the previous values of this record also either you can use trigger dot all or you can use trigger dot all map so i will going to prefer to use trigger dot all map only because based on the id directly we can access the details now let's create this method in this handler okay this is open so this is the new method we will going to create with the name update description So two context variable we have passed from there that is the list and the map and the type will be of contact okay so let's have here list of contact in which we will going to get all updated values new version new list of contact and plus we'll going to have the map this will going to contain the previous values of the map this is list of contact all map of contact got it now this is done now finally first thing we will going to check whether this list has a value or not let's add this dot is empty done now we'll going to iterate over this list so we can get to know among all these of records what are the records where uh, this the, uh, uh, the owner field is updated okay it might be possible in this we are having some of the records where owner field is not updated so we need to first filter out those records where owner is updated for those records only we will going to update the description so here let's do the iteration this is contact this is cone obj now finally comes the new list so we're going to do the iteration let's check new and the previous value if this con obj new value that is of owner okay that is the api name is owner id 
not equals to old value okay so old value we will going to get from this map dot get the id okay because in the key we are having the id so you need to pass the id first here and then finally it will going to give you the complete contact record in from that record i only want to know what is the value for owner id if they are unequal then only we will going to work proceed further for these records so here let's create a set and in this set we will going to add all the values okay this is id set of ids is equals to new set of ids owner ids we will going to store here now dot add these are the one which were updated okay now once these are updated now what values you need to update i need to access the name and plus its email address then those values only we will going to update in the description field so directly you cannot access here that like this if you want to access it would not be possible because trigger only hold the values of the current record or this new list hold values only for the current record not the related records okay in this way you will not be able to access the value so how you will going to access we will going to take help of sql queries so let's write down sql query first we'll check whether this set has a value or not then only we will going to retrieve is empty now for here comes the user because owner is the user okay user obj now select id now what details you want i want name and the email from user where id in where id is stored in these sets so whatever the ids of user is there for those user only we want to access the values now you have two options here either you can create a new map here and hold the value of user id and its detail the complete record you can hold so you can access the name and email and then again you going to use the third loop to update the description for this new list or the next thing you are having is here instead of set you can directly create a map and to this map you can add the values okay so do now let's create a map here id is there and the complete user record i will going to store this is user now let's put value in this map dot put now here comes the id and now comes the complete user record this is done okay now let's take help of this loop why we require this loop because finally you have to do updation on the new list only okay so that is why we are doing this uh, loop now here what is common in this map in this list the owner id is common with this owner id we will going to identify whether this value is available or not if this map contains what the owner id okay this is same available here only then only we will going to update the description field so this is the record of a contact and here the description field we will going to update this is your description and let's update this with the name and the email address dot get this is the name we will going to access so this will going to give you the complete user record okay but instead of a complete user we just only want the name plus let's give some space now i want the email address okay this is done finally we updated the values now as this is a before trigger and on the same object or the same record you are making the changes so there is no need to perform any kind of dm okay now let's save this and test so this is saved now let's save the trigger also this is also saved now let's run this currently this is the user now let's change the user so currently this is the value available in the description let's change this
so you will see this is the value is coming okay so name name only we printed we have to print the email okay here name only we printed we will going to print the email now let's save this again this is done now let's refresh and try to change the user now you will see the name is here of the new user and the email address is here of the new user similarly if you will going to change to some other user then the same new updated value and its email address it will going to show you in the description field this is here okay this is the scenario and this is a very common type scenario is also in the interviews which is mostly asked you can give a practice to this and try the same on the insert also here i did for the update you can try it the same for the insert also. Thank you so much.